so I figure now would be a good time to tell you guys where I'm going. We got the Jeep loaded up. This is Andy's Jeep. Thank you, Andy, so much for letting us borrow it. Road trip, road trip, road trip. Kenzie and I are taking it on a full-on road trip. Road trip. We're going camping. We're going to Lake Tahoe. We're starting right now. I think it's like 7.30. We were supposed to leave at 6. Classic us time. We're only an hour and a half behind schedule. Not terrible for us, but I think this should be a very, very beautiful, beautiful camping trip. It's very cold at night and very warm in the day. And we're gonna be sleeping right here. That's right, um, there's a tent that's gonna go on the roof of the Jeep where Mackenzie and I are gonna sleep. I don't know, we're kind of winging it. We just threw all the stuff in the Jeep and we're going. It's going to be a blast. We're gonna have an amazing time. We're gonna get tons of beautiful shots. It's gonna be an absolutely beautiful journey. So I'm excited to take you guys with us. First stop, gas and Starbucks. Oh, speak of the devil, there she is. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Now we are. I got my cold brew. I got my cold brew. <laughs> nice camping outfit. Thanks. Bougie. That's for you. Wow. Because I don't know how to drive stick chip and you need to stay awake. <laughs> yeah, that's another side caveat. Um, Andy's Jeep is stick shift. I know how to drive a manual. Mackenzie doesn't, which means I'm going to be driving seven hours straight. Mackenzie's really excited naturally because that means she doesn't have to do anything. Okay, pit stop number one. This pit stop's actually only for a uh, drone break, but why it's a drone break is because DJI let me borrow a Mavic 2 Zoom. So I'm really, really, really stoked to try it out. I've never tried out the Mavic 2. Obviously it just came out like not too long ago at all. Feels amazing. The build quality, everything about it feels pretty amazing. So I'm gonna throw it up right now for a little shot I had in mind. We'll see, we'll see what it's made of here. And later in this video, I lose this drone. Yes, the drone that DJI let me borrow. Stay tuned for that. Guys, we have officially made it to the campsite. I'll give you a grand tour. But first and foremost, we need somewhere to sleep. Here, like I said, on the roof. I wanna time lapse it because I've never set this setup. This is Andy's tent, this is Andy's Jeep, this is Andy's whole thing. He literally built this wood platform, so this could go terribly wrong. So Mackenzie and I are gonna to try to set it up, so. <laughs> Okay, so it came together much faster than I anticipated. We're just having trouble with the, the last part. My third time camping. Good job, babe. Keep it up. Doing great, honey. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we got it actually a lot faster than, than I thought. So we gotta put the pads in them. Okay, she's worried about the bedding obviously, but like I think it looks pretty good for now. Whew, broke a sweat, but it's fine. Beds are made, tent is ready. It's just a little hard to get in and out of, so we only get in it when we have to sleep and get out of it when we wake up in the morning, it's fine. Ready to party. She brought all her luggage, as you can see. Vacation mode starts now. I think there's a word for this. It's called glamping, like glamorous camping. Mackenzie's never been camping. She's only ever been glamping. I used to camp in my backyard. You used to camp in your backyard? And I used to... I've been camping. Sounds like it. Like, a couple nights. <laughs> Day 
Q is beginning. We're hiking down to the beautiful water of Lake Tahoe. We're gonna see what it holds. How about this hike in though, huh? Yeah. And we made it to the chill spot, which is super bad. It's very blue water, rocks, the homies, squad, and then there's like Lake Tahoe, which is so beautiful. Don't worry, I'll get the Mavic 2 up. It's stunning. The water is like ocean water, like so clear. What's what actually happening on? right now? Huh? Reporting live, Lake Tahoe, California. <laughs> Whoa. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is our second night in Tahoe. It is lit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Wait. Gave Mackenzie my flashlight for her camera. Okay. <laughs> and she's like loving it. Look at her. Yeah, because it's I'm so bright. Away. Look I'm how bright it like, is. It's pitch it's black like, and it's literally it's lighting up. <laughs> they saw a bear right in here earlier today. <laughs> Ooh, freaky. We're going on a hike this morning. I'm not sure how far. A few miles, but I'm just lacing my boots up. Don't mind me. Come say hi to the vlog. Hello, vlog. How's everybody doing today? Oh, that's great. I'm doing good too. Do it for the gram. We made it Wait. to the lake at the top. What did you say? You got someone joining us over here? Yeah, it's called Cheech and Chong. <laughs> Crawl over here, put your phone away. <laughs> Here's me getting ready to fly my drone. Little did I know, this was the last time that I was gonna see this drone. I'll show you what footage I managed to recover first. Here's the deal. I was flying my drone, which DJI let me borrow, borrow for this trip. And the flight was going well. And then a mountain <laughs> came out of nowhere, believe it or not. Right, right, I've been out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Just this mountain, huge, huge mountain, came out of absolute nowhere and blocked the drone. Lost service, which is fine. Regular occurrence when I fly drones. Didn't panic, five minutes go by. Started to worry a little bit, but I'm like, we're probably good. It's just flying over the mountain to get back to me. It's end return to home mode. It, it knows what it's doing. 10 minutes go by. All right, battery's probably getting low. No sign of service, really starting to get worried. Now I'm starting to like jog to places to get better service, <laughs> to try to reconnect. No luck, we're like 15 minutes, nothing. And then by the time like 20 minutes have gone by, I've pretty much written off the fact that uh, this drone is living in, in Tahoe now. I encourage any warrior who wishes to go out and try to find it, but I'm not that guy. It's a lot of great footage on there. It's a Mavic Zoom 2, basically brand new. I don't know where it landed. Could be on a mountain, could be on a street, could be in a river. I want to try to salvage what footage I did shoot off of the app. A casualty was had this, this hike. Rest in peace, guy.
Does that mean I'm getting in? Enjoy the ride, sucker. 